You don't have to spend a lot of money to give your home a refresh. Sometimes you just need a little paint. That's exactly what our next guest did to our set, and we couldn't be happier with it. We welcome Nancy Morgan from Nancy's Do List. Thank you so much for being here, thank and you for thank you for doing what you did to our set. Oh, certainly. We are thrilled with it. And let's talk a little bit about paint. You don't have to do a lot to change up a look of of a room, right? No, that's why I love painting is because it, it can be a simple thing that makes a huge difference in a short amount of time. Yes, absolutely. All right, so let's talk about the paint that you did here. You painted over wood. Did yes. you have to use a special kind of paint? I, I did. I used a primer first, which is a, a special super adhesive primer so mm -hmm. that because we were going over a stained wood yes and sometimes that's difficult to cover so you want a good primer that will be able to let your paint adhere to that wood so you didn't have to do any sanding or anything like no that. not with this primer okay so it was a great primer all right and people have asked us a little bit about the color that we chose uh, behind the bookshelves we uh, chose a break time by Sherwin Williams yes and then the other color was called fawn brindle also Sherwin Williams was there a reason that you used Sherwin Williams uh, no it's it's kind of a lot of times it's the uh, homeowner or the the business's preference as far as what sometimes they like a particular brand sometimes it's my choice um, yeah. I, I go to Sherwin Williams a lot as far as uh, great service uh, paint color choices um, but really you, know, you started with ideas of paint colors, and then I helped to fine tune it with the elements that were going into it. Okay. So, <clears throat> but it, it's ultimately it's your choice right. as what you want that color to be. Yes. So, Let's talk about picking paint because sure. I think that's really difficult for a lot of people. What do you suggest? How do they start? Um, most people start with an idea. They think maybe I'd like this to be yellow. Mm -hmm. You guys started with you wanted a gray and that. Uh, you initially called it a, a robin's, egg, robin's egg yes. you know, type color. Mm -hmm. So you start with that, and then you can start to look at color palettes. Any paint store has uh, all the little color chips the little and samples, ones. the little ones. And then you gave us the bigger ones. Right. And, and why this, did we do that? <clears throat> um, when you look at a paint in a store, a color, it's a lot different than how it looks in your house. Yes. So they, most uh, paint stores sell samples mm -hmm. that you can paint on the wall. I recommend painting it on different walls <clears throat> because light hits things differently. And look at and the lighting, right? Difference. Right. Here, we couldn't quite do that. We couldn't put little swatches <laughs> everywhere with, on your set, so right. I, I made it on these uh, color boards. And you can move them around in different places and see how the light hits it. One wall will look different than another. So it, it helps it. you figure out if that's the color that you really like or not. Well, we're thrilled with it. Thank you again. Oh, certainly. Thank you for doing in our time frame. We should mention that too. You know, people want home improvement projects, other repairs. Nancy's information is on the screen. We really appreciate it again. Thank you. Oh, sure. Thank you. Okay.